Hello folks, I'm Abfielder. Welcome to another Minecraft video and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best Minecraft fabric mods for 2023. These mods will make playing Minecraft an absolute dream. All the mods featured will be linked in the description below and best of all, they're all client side only. That's a long enough intro, let's dive right in. The first mod is the one that's making Abcraft look absolutely amazing. It's called Iris and with it you can then use shaders, which are especially great when you want to take some fancy screenshots or you just want to take a tour around your world or server and just marvel in how great everything looks. Whilst we're talking about fancy screenshots, this server, which is completely free to play on by the way, come join my Discord, has its render distance set to 12. And as you can see, that app field design is way, 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 way in the distance. For this, I'm using a mod called Bobby. Bobby caches the chunks locally and then renders them, allowing you to have your view distance set way higher than the server, which is awesome for those screenshots or if you've got a beast of a computer. The next mod we're looking at is called Inventory Profiles Next. It's a personal favorite of mine. It has so many features. I've even done a tutorial on it. Two features I'm quickly gonna show you are chest sorting. Just open the chest, hit the sort hotkey, and it will fix the mess. The second feature I've been using loads recently is auto crafting, particularly with the stone cutter. Chuck your materials in, hold shift and alt, click the button and look how quick that is. I've used it so, so much. As I said, this mod does loads of things. So check out the mod and my tutorial as well. Next up is Tweakaroo. This mod has so many features. I've done an entire series on it, but check out quickly two features I use a lot. The first is Precam. It's great for screenshots or checking you've not missed any blocks in your build. Trying to figure out why your redstone doesn't work it's so so good the second feature is fake sneak this allows you to sneak without holding or toggling the sneak button and it's very useful when building a 1.8 kilometer nether tunnel as i said so many features in this mod check them out mini hud is next up i get asked about this mod a lot in my videos let's have a quick look at three features i use in this mod first up is that nice clean f freestyle menu up in the top left hand corner of my screen you can customize this to display pretty much whatever info you want next up is the light level overlay it's fairly handy for trying to find out where mobs are spawning in your cave and i also use the slime chunk overlay incredibly handy for you know finding slime chunks i've done some tutorials on the mini hood so don't forget to check those out like massacre is our next mod and it's the ultimate schematic mod if like me you prefer to design your builds in creative then rebuild them in survival you can with this it makes it so easy you make a light matic in creative then you open it up in your survival world and you can build it layer by layer choose where to place it all that kind of stuff and what's more you can import any creation you like and if you head to abfielder.com you'll find hundreds of lightmatics from all your favorite content creators it makes building so simple next up we have item scroller now this has mass crafting which is very very useful but what i'm quickly going to show you in this video here is villager trading you can set global and local favorites and then do all those trades with a single key press look how quick this is I have done a tutorial, I know I say that a lot, but I've done a tutorial on the features of item scroller. So if you are interested, check that out. Zero's minimap mod is next. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, this is the really useful map in the top right hand corner of my screen. You can see I'm in my cave. I can see my builds. I can see items that are going through the, the item shoots and things like that. You can see mods and all kinds of things. I actually don't use the minimap part of this mod all that much. What I use are the waypoints. I find the waypoints incredibly useful, especially with the Abcraft world being so large, I forget where things are. So I just put waypoints everywhere and then I can just go and find them. I can just fly in the correct direction. Our next mod is Advancement Info. For a start, this mod utilizes the whole screen so you can easily see all advancements. Secondly, if you're an advancement hunter, it gives you some info about what you need to get that advancement. For example, we can see that I need to kill some husks, strays, and a zoglin to get the monster hunted advancement. This is incredibly useful if you're an advancement hunter. The next three mods I'm gonna lump together because it's difficult to really show them off. Some of the eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed my pretty impressive FPS in the top left-hand corner. Well, apart from being lucky enough to have a pretty powerful PC, I also have three mods, Lithium, Sodium, and Phosphor installed. These are three fabric mods that really help with the various aspects of the game performance. They all do slightly different things. They help it run smoother and with a higher FPS, and it can make a huge difference, especially if you're on a lower end machine. It can make the difference between you not being able to play Minecraft 
and you've been able to play Minecraft with a decent bunch of settings. So I highly recommend you get those installed. Now, if you install all these mods, it's gonna get confusing. What we could do with is something called Mod Menu that adds that Mods button there to the Escape menu. And then pretty much every mod supports this. You can just go into it, click on the mod, and then go and configure the options. It saves you having to remember a hotkey for 20 odd different mods. That was mod menu. The last mod we're gonna look at today is replay mod. If you've ever seen those fancy time lapses and wondered how they're done, then the answer is replay mod. You record your game session, then you can play it back and create the time lapse from it super easy. You can even change your resource and your shader packs to make it look nicer. If you found this video useful, then please consider giving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. But anyway, folks, I'm going to leave you with the rest of this time lapse. That's all I have time for today. I'm Appfielder. Goodbye.